Uh, Peyton Manning on the top of the heap among all-time great quarterbacks. You look at career touchdowns and career yards. Uh, certainly, there's no question he's got an amazing legacy, but where does his legacy rank among the all-time greats? Elliot Harrison's here to kind of weigh in because no matter what you think about Peyton Manning, you look at where he fits among all the guys to have ever played the position, and he, he's, he's, he's right up there. Yeah, well, for sure. And I Top think those, five. those numbers that you just mentioned, they provide context. But there's so much that goes into determining what makes someone the best quarterback of all time. We built this list. I did not consider guys pre-1960. Um, and, and the reason why is it's too hard contextually to, to put them in that group. So Different someone, type of game of football yeah, being played, obviously. Someone from your alma mater, Sammy Ball, considered the best player of the first 50 years of the NFL, not considered Otto Graham. So I wanted to throw that out there that really over the last 50-something years, what are we looking at? And to me, it's could they play today if they had mm -hmm. modern equipment, modern technology, workouts, whatever? What were their numbers like? Did they win? What kind of player were they overall? And so number five for me is really easy. In that respect, it's Roger Staubach. Mark, Roger Staubach, I think, is one guy that you could take him and you could drop him in the NFL right now and he'd be a perfect player. Really? Yep, Steve Young is another guy like that. That mobility, yes. that arm, you, you put the whole package together, the leadership, that intangible. Absolutely. Needed now more than ever. A smart quarterback who knows when to run, when to live to play another down. The thing about Roger Staubach is when he retired, he was pretty much considered the greatest quarterback of the modern era. And remember, he lost four years to the Naval, uh, Naval Service. Okay? Yeah. Four years of his career. You add that to him, and we might be talking about him being higher than number five. But four Super Bowl starts, pretty good. How about Johnny Unitas? You millennials out there may not fully appreciate his game, Johnny U's game, but uh, it's it's all time. Yes, yeah, spoiler alert, this is going to be the oldest guy on the list, but <laughs> Johnny Unitas is applicable to today's game because really the creation of the two-minute offense came from he and Bobby Lane, quarterbacks in the 1950s. You see his numbers. You were doing the touchdown passes numbers, and, you know, at the beginning of the segment, Johnny Unitas was still there. The crazy thing to me is that 47 straight games with at least one touchdown pass in an era where his receivers could be beat up the entire way down the field. Incredible. Johnny Unitas also played uh, 18 years in the league. So for you, he's not number one. He slides in at number three. Uh, we just no disrespect given the company he's in. No, not at all. And Great I used man. to have Unitas and Manning swapped. I think Manning has taken over for me because of the way that he's revolutionized the game in his own way. Basically, he can call an entire game from the line of scrimmage, Mark. You know, now we watch a game, we see Phillip Rivers going through histrionics, uh, pointing out the mic, changing the play. Fifteen years ago, you watched football, you did not see that. I'm not you saying that. the line, you call the play. Yeah, right. Yeah. You might have an audible. Every once in a while. Yeah, yeah, but you're not going to literally call an entire game at the line of scrimmage. Uh, Peyton Manning, so many great things about him. He's got the Super Bowl wins, obviously. He's got the numbers. And I don't want to hear about this Broncos Super Bowl win, them carrying him. How many times did he carry Colts team to the playoffs? Still counts on the resume. Yeah. Next Joe question. Montana undefeated in Super Bowls. All right, this is really tough for me because I have had Joe Montana number one pretty much my entire life. And I finally pushed him out of the number one spot. And I'm not sure I'm still okay with this. So talk to me in a year. Okay. But to me, Joe Montana, the four Super Bowls, it's not just the four Super Bowls. Because, honestly, I don't want to say I don't care if a quarterback wins a Super Bowl. But I think it's a team metric. And I think there's so many great players like Dan Fouts and Dan Marino that belong on lists like these. That said, Joe Montana, 11 touchdowns, no interceptions in the Super Bowl, 127 passer rating in the Super Bowls. Give me a break. And the, maybe the most accurate passer of all time, certainly up there, Joe Montana. I also believe that current guys stand on the shoulders of greatness. So when you look at your number one guy, who is Tom Brady, he is standing on Joe Montana's shoulders, his idol, who pioneered the West Coast offense. You look at Brady, though, he has supplanted Montana as number one for you. I think he's standing on all these guys' shoulders. I mean, I think Roger Staubach is the embodiment of how to lead a football team. Okay. Okay. I think that Johnny Unitas revolutionized uh, the game, the two-minute offense. Tom Brady is a master at the two-minute offense, right? Peyton Manning about calling a game at the line. That's not something Tom Brady was able to do early in his career. Not to mention, if Peyton Manning's not in the league, Tom Brady's probably not as good. You got to have that arch. Mm. You got to have Darth Vader if you're like Luke that. Skywalker, right? I'll, and, I'll save the who, which one is which question for another second. That's all right. And then you have, of course, <laughs> Montana, his boyhood idol. But to me, Tom Brady, 
earned it this year. And to me, he really earned it a lot in that loss in the AFC Championship game. The way he competed in that game when everything was breaking down and still had them in position at the end of the game yeah. speaks to his greatness. Well, when it's all said and done, what a career for Peyton Manning. If you want to get the latest on Manning's retirement news, you can keep it at uh, keep it on NFL Now. And if you disagree with Elliott's top five, hit him up at Harrison NFL. Nobody ever tweets you anything negative, do they? No. Nobody ever tweets me about Sammy Ball, though, and that's sad. Maybe today.